Hello YouTube. So you look at the smartphone or you listen to the smartphone, to my lecture, for example, from the smartphone, and you should realize that this device could not have been. It might have not been in existence. The Maya and the Aztecs did not invent wheels. And we might well not have invented radios and computers. But more than a century ago, Heinrich Hertz built a loop of wire in the laboratory and noticed that a spark was slipping between the wires. It is discoveries in the physics that change our lives, according to some people. So we let them air out their opinions. And they say that let psychics, visionaries, or politicians think otherwise. But everything that happens to us in the future depends on people like Hertz, who are observing some strange and incomprehensible phenomena in their laboratories right now. Data from the Large Hadron Collider suggests that there may be some force in the universe that no one suspects. If in 30 years a human being becomes immortal, moves anywhere in an instant and communicates with the inhabitants of other planets with his or her thoughts, then perhaps everything starts right now. To understand what we're talking about, let's first remember what the collider does. The essence of its actions is simple. It collides elementary particles with each other. They fly apart from the collision, and scientists look at what they have inside. It's easy to understand and say, but it's hard to do, because an elementary particle is not a golf ball, and it itself, in fact, is not even visible. And to crack it, incredible energies are needed. You've probably seen the map that shows the collider. This facility is located underground, under houses, villages, and roads. And a special power plant was built for the operation of the collider. And now the data has accumulated for 10 years. There's something unusual about all this data. You and I, you know, we know some forces. Gravity, the weakest and strangest force. Electromagnetic interaction, there is a magnet and the refrigerator and hairs that are attracted to your comb. The strong and weak interactions are less well known to the common people. The first holds the atomic nucleus together. The second works on the same scale, but extends slightly beyond the atomic nucleus. So in total, we know four forces in nature. It's not possible to combine all the forces with one formula so far, mainly because of gravity, which is knocked out and most likely is not actually a force, but something else. Einstein tried to explain gravity by suggesting that gravity is the curvature of space and not the gravitation of one mass to another, but it has not yet been fully explained. One formula for all forces or the theory of everything has been the main tank for theories for more than a century. Perhaps it is also the key to further human progress. Despite the successes of the AI and computers, it is clear that a civilization um, built on electricity has exhausted basically itself. Apparently, there, are really, there really is some new force behind the scenes of nature, perhaps underlying the other four. If we open it, we will open a lot of things. Physicists will get their Nobel Prizes, and no ordinary people will get telekinesis and teleportation. Think about it. What was found in that collider? The routine procedure of uncoupling elementary particles pursued a routine goal to test one hypothesis. According to generally accepted hypothesis, if you persistently hit elementary particles, 
they will decay into approximately the same number of electrons and muons. A muon is an extremely unstable particle that immediately decays and generates a bunch of others. Roughly speaking, any particle of matter should decay in equal proportions into energy, electrons, and matter, muons. No one really doubted that this would happen, but the data suggest that more electrons are released. That is, there is more energy in a unit of matter, say in your nail or in a sandwich that you ate for breakfast, than there is actually matter. There is more energy in a unit of matter than there is actually matter. Okay? This means that the formulas of modern physics are not quite correct, and we misunderstand the world. It's as if you ordered a kitchen for yourself. The measurers arrived, you paid, you wait for a month. Finally, the workers brought everything and stalled it, but one cabinet floats in the air by itself. And the workers are like this. This is rare, but it happens. We still don't fully understand how kitchens work. By nature, this force may be the one that made our world the way we know it. And our world is illogical. And I'm sure you pick it up from my videos. The laws of physics that we know say that we should not exist. The universe is moving along the path of simplification in a scientific way and an increase in entropy. And the further away, the simpler the universe should be. We clearly see the opposite. The solar system is more complex than a random cluster of rocks. And it is young. Man is generally the pinnacle of complexity. And he appears several million he appeared several million years ago. The world is becoming not simpler, but more complicated, and something has to push it in this direction. Something or someone, people dealing with religion, have no doubt that the divine will is behind everything. Now, without denying this possibility, we note that an unknown force, as if distorting the symmetry of the universe, may well be an analog of the world mind, which directs the universe. Symmetry is beautiful buildings and patterns on butterfly wings, but from the point of view of evolution, it is death. The universe is alive because it is not symmetrical, and this fact seems to be a special mystery. Probably the force that distorts symmetry at the micro level is the one that made the world alive and our existence possible. Now, physicists, um, the announcement of the discovery appeared at the end of the last year. Now the physicists are checking observational facts and theorists are trying to explain them with known reasons. This is the work of theories. Exclude what is already known and then talk about the unknown. Needless to say, if a person masters a force that has created all things, not roughly, but at the level of design, he or she, himself or herself, will be able to create all things essentially by the power of thought. Of course, it won't happen tomorrow, but maybe it's already starting today. And this is what I wanted to let you know, that the universe is much more complex than we can even try to imagine. And it has forces we cannot imagine as yet. Or maybe we can. So if you like my research and the stories I bring you, and I promise to bring more, please support me through the links you'll find in the description to this video. And I really appreciate your attention to my work. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like my videos and tell others. Thank you.